Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Veterans Day, everyone. Welcome to Better Connecticut. I'm Kara Sundlin. I'm Dennis House, and today for Scott Haney, he's got the day off. Yeah, it is Veterans Day, so we want to thank all the men and women who served our nation over the years. Yeah, some of the schools are out. Some are having special presentations. Um, we were reading up. It's pretty interesting that uh, actually Arlington National Cemetery, I know you had an opportunity to actually go to a burial there recently, but they're filling up, and they're going to start changing their requirements because they have so many people who would be eligible. They have millions of people who would be yeah. eligible, but only thousands of spaces left. Yeah, the father of one of my college buddies passed away. He was a colonel. It took him a year to get into Arlington. That's how long it takes. He died a year ago, but the funeral was just uh, just last month. And it's, it's just so moving to go there between mm. the, the parade, the military yeah. parade, and the music. And just, it's stunning to look at all those gravestones. You and know, we struggle just, sometimes as, as parents, yeah. like how to, uh, how to introduce your kids to why yeah. this is important. And Dennis and I were watching a movie with the World War II Foundation last night. It was actually one that we did um, on my dad's escape during World War II, but they have many films. So if you're looking for something just kind of nice to do while you're home with the kids today, there's a lot of movies. You can stream them. I posted a link on my Facebook page. You know, I will tell you, if you see a veteran out there, particularly from World War II, sit down and talk with him or her for a while because we're losing them at a rapid pace. In yeah. a couple of years, we're not going to have any left. And they have amazing stories to tell. Just a couple weeks ago, I met a man in downtown Hartford who had served in Okinawa with my grandfather in World War II. He didn't know him, but they were in the same group. Aww. And just amazing. You know, he, yeah. he was 94 years old, this guy. They really have incredible stories. Yeah. So thank you all for your service. Absolutely. Maybe you want to celebrate with a Sunday also. <laughs> Take a veteran out for a Sunday. It is National Sunday Day today. How do you like your Sunday, D House? You know, it's interesting. Our kids love ice cream. They don't really love Sundays. They'll do a little chocolate sauce. They that's put, about like, it. Gummy worms and stuff yeah. on their ice cream. Which, I don't, I don't get it. the whole gummy worm thing with kids. But yeah, today is National Sunday Day, and there's apparently a big dispute as to where the Sunday thing began. Well, uh, the question Sunday is Sunday with an E, by the way. Yes. Which place claims it? Either Ithaca, New York, or Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Both say they're the birthplace of the Sunday way back in the late 1800s. Our producer's favorite place is the Sunday School in the Cape. There are a couple oh. locations we've been there. Actually. That is a good place. But the ice cream is I like awesome. AC Peters in West Hartford. You Indeed. Get the toll yes. House oh, yes, yes. Extra hot fudge. Tell All right. we sent you. <laughs> so, a new survey reveals the least popular items on your Thanksgiving dinner table. Mm. I, I totally agree with most of these. Uh, that About 68% dislike a classic food. And here's the breakdown. Uh, almost 30% don't like canned cranberry sauce. I don't know why that's not higher. I don't like that either. I like the real with cranberry sauce. With the lime still yep. on the cranberry? Yeah. Yuck. All right, and 24% uh, don't like green bean casserole. I'm not excited about that either. Mm -hmm. All right. 22% uh, say they eat the sweet potatoes, but they don't like it. I like sweet potatoes. Love those. In the casserole? Uh-huh. With the marshmallow and stuff? Pumpkin pie, I 21% do not enjoy pumpkin pie, but they eat it. In our house, we've sort of replaced it with that uh, pecan chocolate pie, which we kind of like. Oh, though. yeah. I mean, we always have a pumpkin pie because that's tradition, but there is yeah. a chocolate chip pecan pie at Patty Cakes. It's pretty amazing. 19% say they don't even like turkey, but they're going to eat it anyway. So there you go. <laughs> Let us know. Uh, they found half of Americans say that um, some of the sides, like cranberry sauce, are actually disgusting. Interesting. Wow. You can celebrate with the tree, too. It's not lit up yet, but we told you um, that this gorgeous tree that they found to put at Rockefeller Center actually used to be a little tabletop tree in, about 50 years ago. A woman had oh, wow. it on her table. 50 years ago. Yeah, That's and now story. it's all set up. They set it up on Saturday. Look at this giant thing. Clearly, it wouldn't fit on a table anymore. You know, I, it, it looks kind of sad there. Like, some of the leaves need to be pulled out at the top. Look, it, see, it made a long travel. See that? No, but it's kind of like leaning to one side, and it, 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 it looks kind of... Something's... I think <laughs> something the branches are going to fall. You know, they have to let you have I to guess let fall. So. But it's going to be lit, I think it's um, December 4th, December 3rd or December 4th, the Wednesday, whatever that is. And you can watch it on television. But it's so nice if you, you know, we only live two hours from the city. So take a train in, do whatever. You might want to just get down there and get a glimpse of it. It is really magical, I think, It to is see nice to tree. see, but it's kind of a circus to Look get in the there. Operation. because Yeah, it is. But it's, this was from Florida, New York. Yes, Scott and I were laughing that the it was Orange Florida. County. It was Florida in Orange County, <laughs> New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they clearly want to feel like they're the sunshine. State. But when you go to see that, yeah. I mean, it is kind of. We went there last year with the kids. It is a madhouse. It's a madhouse. There's but so you, many people. You can and, find like I, we didn't wait in line to ice to ice skate, which Scott says we should totally do that. Yeah. It's worth the wait. But we found a little corner where we could all see, and you know, at least you see it. Yeah. So, Madonna is being sued. A fan says mm. that she has delayed her concerts 
too often. And in this particular case, she was supposed to start around 8 30, 9 o'clock. She delayed it till 10 30. That was just too late for him. He's suing because he didn't get a refund. I think Madonna likes, we have seen her in concert. She really likes to do what she wants when she wants. Hey, listen, I'm with him because I really think that if the show starts at 8 30, it ought to start at 8 30. What if the NBA did that? Oh, you go to the Celtics game. You know, we're not going to start till 9 30. Or you go to a football game at 1 o'clock. It's not going to start till 1 o'clock. But we've been to concerts where it's supposed to start at 8 and it starts at 9. Especially me, if you have your young kids with you. It's I don't just know not if right. that's a big yeah, crowd I mean, for Madonna, but get a, it's hard get it to, together. Two hours late, two hours late's a little bit. I think we'll do the 5 o'clock news tonight at 7. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It's like, you know, it starts at 8. You start at 8, Madonna. <laughs> okay. As you can see, we live very scheduled around here. <laughs>